since we're going to go fishing when it's cold anyway, it doesn't matter. That's what we're going to do. Where is a place that we can always find some fish, it, no matter how cold it gets in shallow water? Now, I know that I've been fishing deep a lot in the last few years. I grew up, cut my teeth fishing deep, but I love to fish shallow, and I fish shallow more than I fish deep, no doubt about it. Where is a place you can almost always catch fish when it gets really cold? Good morning, guys and girls. January 26th, January 26th, we're going to read in the coffee gospel. <laughs> Hebrews, Hebrews 4.16, Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let us therefore come boldly, boldly, not crawling up our knees, but with our chest stuck out, knowing that we are a child of God. One of the best places to catch fish just about any time of the year or in any weather is below a dam. We have mo many, many man-made lakes in Oklahoma. Most of the lakes in the south are man-made lakes. Unless you get down in Florida, those are God-made lakes. Just like you get up in Minnesota and some of the northern places, you've got God-made lakes. But most of them are made on creeks and rivers, and they have dams on them. America has so many man-made lakes with huge, huge bass in them. Big, giant dams in them. These are always lots of fish below the dams because of the current. They release water and create a current there every day. The more current, usually the more fish to bite him. These currents, they're scary and they can be dangerous. They usually will blow a horn uh, to let you know that they're getting ready to want, uh, put, put, you know, run some water out so you won't, you won't get caught with that rising water and drown. It does scare me to see folks out there in small John boats, I gotta admit. And I see them out there in little old 10 and 12 foot John boats, sometimes not even a motor on them. If they got a motor, it's a little five horse Mercury or something like that. I'm confident fishing in these dangerous areas because of my extremely safe 21 foot Ranger boat or my 19 foot tracker. I'm in those areas, I don't worry about that current. I don't worry about the fact that they're blowing a horn, gonna let a lot of water out, I'm safe. We can be confident too to come to Almighty God. Why? Because of the blood of Jesus Christ. We belong to Him. And the Bible tells us that Jesus, right now, is sitting at the right hand of God. So we can be confident to come in front of God's throne knowing that we're saved, knowing that we are a born-again believer, knowing that Jesus is going to say, Father, this one's mine. This one's mine. This allows us to obtain mercy, and grace, exactly when we need it more, when we need it the most, this allows us to do it. This perfectly timed grace will help us and it will take care of every single thing that we need. If you've got something today that's worrying you, that's bothering you, that you're afraid of, that you're losing sleep over, take it to God. Take it to the cross. Lay it at the foot of the cross. Turn it over to Jesus. Go to the throne of God. In Jesus' name. If you are a saved, born-again believer, Jesus is going to act on your request. And He's going to have His Father, the God that created you and me, that hung the moon and the stars, act in your behalf. That's what Jesus is all about. Oh, I, just, I, I just, it's just so fantastic to even think that we belong to a God whose Son shed His blood for us, so we could go boldly in front of the throne of God, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in times of our need. Here's our tip for today, big bass. Big bass will be shallow under heavy vegetation during the winter of the month. That's right. If you've got a lake like Toledo Bend, Sam Rayburn, Gunnersville, um, so many of the for, for, uh, Florida lakes, if you've got heavy grass, heavy vegetation, those bass are going to get under that vegetation. That water's a little bit warmer under there. They're going to get under there. They're going to be there. I love to fish grass in the wintertime. Most of the times when I fish January and February tournaments, if we're fishing lakes that have grass in it, that's the areas I want to concentrate on. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great day. And remember, I sure do love you.